Hi everyone, it's Kathy Heron here. Uh, I'm going to be filming a few little videos, um, hopefully and releasing them in succession over the next few days, all um, and try to help understand some of the questions that have been in the Gazette. The Gazette has put forth some really good questions to all candidates. They've given the mayor candidates 120 words to answer some really complicated questions and the poor councillors only get 80 words. So hopefully everyone who's running gets a chance to expand on what they meant by their answers because these are pretty uh, complicated. Um, this is how they're appearing in the Gazette. It's a whole lot of text. Some people might take the time to go through every candidate um, and read their answers. I'm suspecting a lot won't, so I thought this might make it easier for some. So this week's question number one was on the RMR budget and, and how do we plan to address the shortfall. So RMR is, stands for Repair, Maintain and Replace. And so there is some confusion in some of the answers you can tell that uh, talking about acquiring new assets. This is not about acquiring new assets. This is about repairing our current ones, maintaining them and then replacing them when they're end of life. So um, my answer real quick was maintaining our current infrastructure has to be a priority. This term council has made successful steps to dedicate a small piece of property taxes towards the RMR budget and we did that without raising overall taxes. The challenge is getting support for thinking outside the box to find long-term sources of revenue other than property taxes to provide funds for these ongoing expenses. Finding efficiencies or cutting costs within City Hall simply can't come close to making up these expenses. Pennies can't fund million dollar projects. We need non-tax source revenue and so without a change to where we generate that revenue, capital projects such as a pool or ice are almost impossible to build. So a pool or a new ice rink or um, fire hall number four, for example, are examples of growth projects. So that is acquiring new assets. And they generally get pushed aside while we struggle to keep the existing ones in good condition and replace them when needed. So lots of good ideas. And so the 1.5% levy is, is what this council did. And we, we actually added 1.5, but then we reduced everything else. So we kind of made it zero-ish. We've had pretty low tax increases, especially compared to um, the municipal price index. The cost to run the city has gone up, but our taxes haven't. So that means we've found efficiencies. Uh, there's some opportunities to set up life cycle reserves for every asset that we have in the city. That's something that's really highly recommended for municipalities to do. We, we're, we're doing that. We've got lots of life cycle maintenance reserves set up. We are working on an asset management plan that will cover the entire gamut of everything we own. So that's in the works and will happen uh, no matter who's in, um, in the chairs next term. There are some opportunities uh, that were coming out of the operational and fiscal review which around procurement, which I completely support. And so those are some good ideas. But in the end, um, to pay for these big projects, we either have taxes, we have um, fees, which is, uh, you know, paying for swimming lessons or, ride, or paying to ride the bus, but they never cover the entire cost of operating these things. And the other one used to be uh, government grants. We used to get a grant from the province called Municipal Sustainability Initiative. It's been cut by almost 25%, so that's where our shortfall's coming from. Um, it's not poor planning on the city side, it's just, you know, the, the economy from all levels of government are struggling, especially because of COVID, so, you know, we are going to see less grants from the province, so we're gonna have to figure out how to continue to fill our potholes. So that's um, it's the shortest version I can do. That's almost four minutes and uh, I'll try to release there's one on the solar farm there's one on development and there's one on taxes this week in the paper and then there's eight more coming so I'm going to try to do these as a bit of a series and release them um, as I go so hope you understood what I was talking about and if you have any questions of course comments below in in uh, the post and I'll try to answer them and we'll see you for the next one thanks